So one of the things this show has done is brought this topic to the surface. Suicide is taboo, we don't wanna talk about it, we don't wanna think about it, I mean it is gut-wrenching, it is sad. And to think about the fact that our teenagers deal with what you just saw is, is huge. I thank God, and I mean this very, very literally, that I did not grow up in a time of social media. It is hard enough to be in high school, middle school and high school as it is, but now, like, I mean, they can't do anything without it being portrayed on social media, not just by themselves, but by their, their friends. And, and you always learn who your friends are when you see how they portray you on social media. That's, that's a true friend. So this show, although it has lots of things that are being discussed by the Suicide Prevention Association and, and psychologists and psychiatrists, I watched it. I watched it long before I knew I was going to speak on it today. I, like I said, I read the book over Christmas, could not put it down because I've been there. You have been there or you are there right now. You are in middle school and you are in high school and you deal with things like people that are not kind and bullying. My goodness. And it starts so young because we live in such a different world today than we did 25 years ago when I was in high school. If you have seen, uh, well, actually what I wanted to ask you now is how many of you know of someone whose family member has experienced death by suicide or has attempted suicide or you know someone, your, yourself personally, that has committed suicide? Would you clap, please? I wanna hear. So I think we can tell, uh, especially you guys worshiping with us online this morning, a huge shout out to you and welcome to you or worshiping throughout the week. Uh, the level of applause in this auditorium shows us that we all know people that deal with this issue. It is powerful and painful stuff. First of all, I wanted to share a couple of statistics with you. Every 12.3 minutes, every 12.3 minutes, someone experiences death by suicide. So if I preach for 25 minutes, which you'll be lucky, I know you always think I can't keep it that short, and usually I can't, but um, every 12 minutes, someone experiences death by suicide. So by the end of this message today, two people will have died as a result of suicide. Stuff is, is real. And what I want us to understand is that all the, the psychiatry and people and psychologists in the field of psychology say that 90% of the people who experience death by suicide, 90% of the people at the time that they commit that act, they are dealing with a mental disorder, a mental illness, and that is what has control of them. They are not sitting around like this, and this is my one beef with the show, they are not sitting around and saying, okay, you know, that Annette Broom, one day at worship, she's sitting on the front row, so I'm picking on her today, that one day at worship, I saw her looking on her phone, and she was texting mean things about what I had on during the message, so I'm gonna show her how much that hurt me, and I'm making that jest because, you know, we need a little levity and laughter today. The things that the show portrays is that she was able to exact revenge on the people that hurt her so much. That is not what suicide is. Now, all the things that she dealt with, yes, they happen in our teenagers' worlds, and they are tragic. And one thing that I hope this show brings out is that parents and kids and teens will talk about these issues and that teenagers will feel affirmed enough to say, hey, I am being bullied. Saying that we need help admitting that things are not just quite what we want them to be, that is an act of bravery and courage. Suicide is not. And I wanna say that one more time. Sometimes we think that people that commit suicide and they take that step and they do that action, well, it shows that they are brave. No, 
So please, if you've watched 13 Reasons Why or you've read the book, don't think that Hannah Baker was brave. She was not brave. Brave would be, hey, I am dying in this and I need you to help bail me out. And so teenagers and young people that are listening to today's message, find someone, they may not all be someone that you can relate to, but find someone, someone in your school will hear you, I promise. And if they won't come to me, I will hear you. That is what my job is as your pastor. Reach out for help. 